In today's video, I will go through some big and exciting changes coming to the summit and also some changes coming in title update 11.1. Before I get into the video though, I just want to tell you quickly that my G Fuel code is 30% off until October 12. So if you are looking to stock up or try out G Fuel, now is the perfect time. So what we're going to talk about today mainly is the summit changes. So we will go into how they change how you climb it, the difficulty, directives, checkpoints, your personal target loot and much more. I do want to start off with the target loot since this was something I've been asking for since the first time I ever played it. So I'm really happy that they finally added this because I was a bit worried that it wouldn't do that. And I think that would have been really, really bad. But now they added it. So I'm super happy about that. So to access the target loot, you just click on summit. And then on the bottom left, it will say target loot selection. You click that. And in that menu, you can choose your target loot from weapon archetype, gear slot, gear mod, skill mod, brand set, and gear set. And it's also worth to note is that you can change your target loot at any time in the game. So with that target loot added and the change of the directives, which we're going to get to later, the directives will actually impact how much target loot you get. So the more directives you have, the more target loot will drop. So you can choose whatever target loot you want. And yeah, you can actually adjust with directives and difficulty how high a chance it's going to be for it to drop. This should give you a really effective way to farm what you need in the summit. Which could be a little bit too good to be true. But yeah, at least I think it's good overall. Worth to note as well is that the target loot is personal. So if you play in a four-man group, everybody can have their different loot target. So that's really, really cool to see as well. So there's no currency or anything behind this. You can always choose your target loot every, every time you just farm it. Which means this is going to be the new farming spot when it comes to loot in general. Which is good, but it also kind of makes the rest of the map useless. Which is, yeah, one of the reasons why I wanted to see some type of currency. So you could not spam this all the time. But honestly, <laughs> I'm happy with how it is. So yeah, I guess this was just easier way to do it. So yeah. So since you choose your difficulty and directives yourself now, the rally points are removed. When you open the elevator, you get a selection if you want to continue to the top or if you want to change the settings. In the example we see on the screen right now, you played until floor 34 and had two directives active. And now you can continue from that floor with these settings or change it to the experience that you want. With title update 11.1, this could be your progression from 1 to 100 with different team combos and difficulty settings. So when you select settings in the elevator menu, you can change your difficulty between normal and legendary and the numbers of directives anytime you want. When it comes to the directives, you can select all directives that have been added to the game so far, which is a total of 9. So for the hardest difficulty, you could go legendary with 9 directives. To give more incentive to use directives, the directives now increase the chance to get more target loot. Worth to note is that this applies to the whole game now, so not just the summit. But only summit will have access to all 9 directives. The rest of the games will have the same 5 directives as of now. Worth to note as well is that the difficulty also determines how much target loot you get. So you gotta keep that in mind. So if you wanna have high target loot, it's worth to bump up that uh, difficulty with more directives. So what would the difference be between floor 1 and like floor 71? Now when you can choose the difficulty and directives. So the way it will work is that the difficulty gets harder with threat scaling. The higher you go, the more bosses you could get on the boss floors for example. And I believe the higher up you get as well. You get more purples, more elite NPCs and like less reds. And just harder NPCs in general will be available. They also did add a new weekly project which is tied to the summit. Difficulty doesn't matter, you just need to complete it. As a reward, you will get an exotic cache, blueprints and specialization points as well if you're not maxed on those. And also some more improvement when it comes to Summit is that they added more objectives. They made the laptop interaction quicker, which is also nice because I thought it was kind of annoying. They also did buff the SHD crate, so it's going to be more beneficial when you actually control it. You get faster skill spawns and it deploys better skills. 
Also, some new UI notifications about exotic fire teams, bosses, and so on. Whatever, like, spawns. Last and not least, they did buff the Ridgeway's Pride Exotic to get a longer range. So now it's 15 meters instead of 10. And this was something I was talking about as well when I was using it. That they probably have to buff the range because 10 meters is way too short. But something they also did as well was to buff the repair percentage. So now this exotic might actually be worth it. If you look at the numbers here, it's quite a big buff. Honestly though, I would probably have liked to see like maybe 20 meters and and keep like most of the repair the same but i think this is a good buff to just see where this is gonna land the exotic though they also did make the the quest easier for this so now you only have to kill two hunters and two rogues on the last project which makes a lot of sense because if you're doing this solo only two of them will spawn but that is basically it and overall i'm pretty happy with this that we see some summit changes hopefully they keep improving on this one in the future and yeah, if they can get this one even better, then the only thing we're missing is to actually have gear to farm. And maybe even like they could add some more quests or projects tied to new stuff in this. Like, I think they can do a lot with Summit and yeah, I guess future will tell. But let me know in the comment section below what you think about the changes here. And yeah, if you're interested in more videos, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you guys in the next one.